making myself nice. Newest fashion. Yo, 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 Karla Fretta. My name is Arna Lur, and today I'm going to show you this simple day to night transition. It's very, <laughs> it's super simple to do, but it looks pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so first thing first. The first thing you need to do is to shoot a two shots, one at the day and one at the night. I personally like to use moving shots and they need to be at the same place. If they don't align 100%, we can fix that in post and they don't really have to align 100% because that flicker effect, that will mask, you know, any, uh, any in, uh, in, uh, where are the English words? Incompletent. <laughs> it's gonna mask when it's not 100% perfect. All right, let's jump into your editing software. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. You can use whatever editing software you like. This is not specific to any type of program, but I use Premiere Pro. So here we have the two clips. The first thing we need to do, here's the day, day shot, and here's the night shot. <laughs> it looks pretty sick, right? So the first thing we need to do is to find a space where it's where we're gonna align them. So you can see if we do this, this is not exactly the same. So here we can use this house as a reference. Maybe we can start here and let me see. And you can see that these are not like, they don't align 100%. You can see that, but it's kind of close. So let me see this house. So now we're gonna try to align them as close as possible. So now you see it looks like this. Now these are full HD, but if you have 4K equipment working on a full HD timeline, you have a lot of space to move with. But if you're like me, when I have full HD right now, we need to do it like this. So we go to click this clip, effects control, and you go to scale and we punch it into 105. So we have a little space to move this, okay? And here we do the same to this one. 10, let's say 106 on this one, okay? Now what you do, you we zoom in like so, and we drag this clip a little bit like this, and then you click it, and we go to opacity, and we drop it to 50% so we can see. Now we just have to have a reference point. We're gonna use the building and try to make them as close as possible. And it does not have to be perfect because the little flicker effect, it will hide it, okay? So we can move this. How much can we move this here? We can move this a little bit closer to this. And once you have finished, and you think you have done a good job, I mean, look, this looks nice. It's, it's like correctly aligned. Take away, pasty to 100 again. So now it's like this. All right, you see, this is like completely nicely lined up. And here comes the uh, magic. Now you just have to press C on the keyboard to get the razor tool and you chop every other frame. Like here, you just have to use your ex artistic expression and let your artist guide you how much you would like. How many flickers do you want to be? So, and we press V to get the select tool and we just delete every other frame. If you want to have this many uh, flickers, four, it looks like this. Or you can have two, the three, or two. Uh, you get the point. <laughs> you can have them as many as you like. So this is basically it. Now it looks like this. We come from here and it's like, I'm going to make the uh, sound effect. So it's like, <laughs> now it looks like this. All you have to do now is just line it up to some music or sound effects or whatever you like, glitch effects. I don't know. The artist in you is going to do it and it might look something like this. All right, so that's it. This is how you do it. You just have two shots that are shot at the same spot at the similar one is daytime, one is nighttime. You line them up as best as you can. And then you chop every other flame to get that little flicker effect. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments down below. If you could smack that like button for me, it would make me very, 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 very happy. You would, you would create a happy man. So with that, <laughs> without further ado, I was going to say, I don't think I can, I could just ramble here for a little while. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out there. Hey.